Hawaii Island is home to some of the most picturesque locations in the world. So we decided to see what our friends at One Gallery is doing to capture Hawaii's natural beauty. Today we get to make an art gallery visit virtually for Zoom. We're checking out One Gallery on Hawaii Island with Deborah Beaver. And thanks for inviting us in with our Living in Await audience. Well, thank you so very much for having me. This is a real thrill. And um, I'm here at One Gallery right now. Uh, it's a, kind of a rainy day, but it's still great here on the Big Island. Well, tell me more about One Gallery and the local artists featured there. Well, One Gallery is a collective of exclusively Big Island artists. We've been operating for just uh, at 10 years now. We started uh, January 1st. It will be exactly 10 years. We have more than 70 Big Island artists represented here in the gallery. It really adds to the experience of one gallery where so many of the, of the artists are here present and participating. This piece is by Birgitta Frazier and the design is just so beautiful. Uh, the glaze is just stunning. And um, she has a, a little uh, studio in Volcano Village, close to Volcanoes National Park. Um, we also have, oh my goodness, one of my favorite artists. He does amazing wood. He handcrafts these outrigger canoes. You know, um, here on the, in Hilo Bay, we have a lot of outrigger canoe uh, uh, races and events, and so a lot of uh, a lot of the locals participate in canoeing. Uh, fused glass, you know, stained glass is very popular, but fused glass is is very unique and fun. Fabric art. This is hand painted silk by Patty Peace Johnson. Very unique and special. And she also gives classes on how to do hand painted silk. I know that the scene for arts and businesses are very different. How have you had to adjust with this pandemic and pivot and to safely be able to welcome people because we do want to be able to enjoy art? You know, it's been a real challenge, as you might imagine. Uh, we were closed for almost two months, uh, part of March, all of April, part of May. And during that time, I went through the entire gallery, uh, refurbishing, painting, cleaning, sanitizing, with the social distancing, uh, the proper protective gear, uh, you know, you have to wear a mask and I offer, I have a box of gloves if people want to put on, take a pair of gloves. Uh, seems like the new norm and goes very smoothly actually. Well, people will want to visit and learn more about the artists. Can they visit you online, a location? Give us the details. Our website is www.onegallerywhawaii.com. You know, before the pandemic, we used to have art and wine classes on a regular basis. Everybody loved them. Uh, Gary Palm, one of our finest artists here on the Big Island, uh, does, uh, does the class and uh, he guides people from start to finish to create their own little masterpiece and uh, and he does it in a very fun way and uh, we provide the food and the wine and other beverages and it's just a fun evening and I'm hoping we get to resume that again when things start to open back up. I'm, we're looking forward to the day because it was a very popular um, event that we used to have. And then of course we have a lot of paint demonstrations. Artists come down and paint uh, and you can watch their technique and how a painting evolves. And we have local uh, musicians come and play. So um, anyway, looking forward to the day that it all gets back to normal. I know the community is excited to welcome you back onto the scene and be able to have those types of gatherings. So thank you so much. I look forward to the day when I can come in person oh, and enjoy my heart wine with yeah, you. I'm looking forward to that day too. Great. Well, thank you very much for allowing us to be on your great program. Aloha.
It's so nice. It's, I, I really enjoy watching people create like that um, mm -hmm. and, and what can come out of their mind or how they can look at a picture and be able to, uh, you know, put together onto a canvas uh, something so beautiful. Yeah. So uh, check them out. And uh, we'll have all yeah. of that information, of course, on, on KH12.com shortly after the show.